Alright, so today I'm going to attempt to explain some of the different forms of mutations that can give rise to the variation we see throughout biology. And I'm also going to attempt to show how new information can be formed from these mutations, something most creationists will cry is impossible. And to do that, I'm going to be using bottles of beer to represent my DNA, which I personally feel is quite fitting. Right, so here we have four different genes, which are all essential to my health and well-being. And this is our starting point. Keep this in mind, as we'll be using it as a reference. Now, CAN by 85 would have you believe that all mutations are simply point mutations, which are so vanishingly small that they convey only negligible effects on the genome. However, in my last video, I pointed out that even single point mutations can give rise to things like sickle cell traits, which convey resistance to malaria. Or he might try to argue that mutations only ever produce negative effects, depending on which argument he's going for at the time. But that's not the full story. So the first type of mutation I want to talk about are amplifications, or gene duplications, whereby, as the name suggests, the gene will be duplicated. This type of mutation is relatively common, like so. And now there are a couple things that can happen here. Perhaps this gene codes for protein which is toxic in high levels, which in turn could lead to diseases such as Huntington's or Red Syndrome. In this case, that would not be very beneficial. But, on the other hand, this second copy of a gene is now free from selective pressure, as mutation of it will have no deleterious effects on the organism. As a result, duplicated genes often accumulate mutations much faster than single copy genes. Like so. In other words, this gene is now free to mutate and evolve and develop an entirely new function, such as the apparent mutation of duplicated digestive genes that help ice fish survive at sub-zero temperatures. Right, next up are transposons, otherwise known as jumping genes. Now these guys are able to shift their position around in the genome, or they can even make copies of themselves to be dumped somewhere else in their genome. Sometimes they will insert themselves in the middle of another gene, thereby splitting it in half and rendering it useless. Or, upon leaving their original position, they leave a gap which does not get repaired properly. This can lead to diseases such as haemophilia or a predisposition to cancer. Transposons can also form plasmids, however, which can result in horizontal gene transfer between different organisms, conveying such things as antibiotic resistance and bacteria. Transposons can even make so many copies of themselves that they can hinder chromosomal pairing, resulting in unequal crossovers and ultimately lead to entire chromosomes being duplicated, which is just like gene duplication but on a massive scale. And lastly, I want to talk about endogenous retroviruses, which are viruses that insert their genetic code into our genomes. It's thought that about 8% of our genome is made up of endogenous retroviruses, and they are suspected of being causes of uh, various autoimmune diseases, such as multiple sclerosis. But they have also been shown to play a role in mammalian pregnancy, where they are activated and produced in high quantities during the implantation of the embryo. They are hypothesized to produce immunosuppressive properties, suggesting a role in gestational immune tolerance, protecting the embryo from its mother's immune system. So, here is how my new DNA looks after a few mutations, compared to the original. We still have the four original genes, we've just also picked up a lot of new genes, some junk, and in the process we've been protected from potentially dangerous mutation events by having redundant copies of the original gene. And if these mutations had all occurred in the germline cells, they would have been passed on to the next generation, for better or worse. Alright, thanks for watching and cheers.